Americans elect an organization that seems to be run by a group of corporate financial elites claims to want to represent a, an unheard voice in American politics, a voice that isn't represented by either the Democrats or Republicans, but which is representing the majority beliefs of the American people. Now, what kind of agenda would that sort of thing look like? It would look like the Occupy movement. The Occupy movement has the support of the majority of the American people, and it isn't uh, being represented by either the Republicans or the Democrats. Occupation protesters are really representing most of us. But you know what? Americans elect is not speaking out in favor of the occupation protest. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? The silence has been quite alarming. Americans elect isn't standing with the majority of the American people. It's standing with the corporations. It's not with the 99%. Americans elect appears to be staffed pretty much completely with the 1%, speaking for the interests of the 1%. There's an alternative to Americans elect. It's Dr. Jill Stein. Jill Stein is running for president as a Green Party candidate. And she isn't just the only presidential candidate out there who has spoken out in favor of and in defense of the occupation protesters. She's actually been to an occupation protest, Occupy Boston. Jill Stein is the only presidential candidate who has spoken out in defense of the protesters who have been attacked with tear gas, pepper spray, jabbed with batons, peaceful protesters. Jill Stein is the one who represents the interests of the American people and the political agenda that the majority of the American people want. Now, some people are going to say it's not realistic to vote for Jill Stein for president. I say what are the other choices standing for? Even Barack Obama won't defend the occupation protesters from the police crackdowns, from the pepper spray. America, we have to do better. Americans elect won't do it. The Republicans won't do it. Barack Obama, he gave us hope once, but he let us down. I say, in 2012, it's time that we stand up and have some courage. We stand up to the people who tell us that by voting for someone who actually represents our needs, that we're throwing our vote away. That's not a vote thrown away. I'm going to be voting for Dr. Jill Stein for president, and I hope you join me.